people. I am here in my art studio, I like to call it, at home. Um, this is a place where I go usually when I get back from school. Uh, it's a place where I go to make my own artwork. It's kind of full of like my own art supplies just like everywhere so it really uh, gives me lots of ideas to make things so I come up here when I want to create or just need some ideas and now I'm gonna be in here kind of all day it's turned into my office slash classroom kind of so hopefully I'll be making lots of art it's gonna be a fun time um, I'll be making some videos and lessons for you guys at home and then hopefully I'll still be able to work on my own art too. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to give you a tour of where I'll be working uh, for a while here. Um, here we go. Okay, so here we have my desk. I got my pink salt lamp going. A lot of um, artwork from different places and some prayers, just inspirational and all kind of things. Got my calendar. Um, oh, under my desk I have my sewing machine, which is usually on my desk, or most of the time is on my desk, but for now my computer is replacing that. Um, and then, this is kind of a cool feature, the desk, this, this kind of extended part. Right here I keep some of my current projects I'm working on, so I've been crocheting, um, some granny square things, I've been working on a quilt star, quilt stars, got a couple made. Don't know how long that's going to take me to make that quilt, but um, I'm hand sewing it, so we'll see. But that's some of the artwork I've been making currently. Um, yeah, so that's my desk. Next to my desk I have a kind of a slide out cart. Um, I can slide it out and look at all my piles of fabric that I have. And um, there's some embroidery things in here, yarn. Uh, thread, things like that. I would consider myself uh, probably a fiber artist. I do a lot of sewing, weaving, um, crocheting, knitting, stitching, embroidery. Over here we have my shelf full of many other things. So I have lots of yarn. This is only some of my yarn actually, so I do have more yarn. Um, and I have lots of books here. Um, oh, yep, there's more yarn down there. Um, come over this way. I have a big easel full of some local artwork and then a macrame wall hanging. Uh, I started but never finished. And then this is a shelf here full of my old notebooks, um, extra paint, extra dried flowers. And then the top is projects that I'm currently working on or things that need to be mended, things like that. So I've got a lot of things going on at all times, basically. Um, come over here. This shelf I actually just set up, and it's got some, the top shelf, or the top little crate, kind of has just scraps from yarn and scraps of fabric and things. I've got um, a whole collection of CDs. But this box here, more yarn. These two bags are current projects that I I try to put things in so if I go places I carry, I take those with me and then so I always have something to work on in a, on a car ride. These are things that I just kind of got. This is I, my new, um, my new found interest, felting. Felting is so cool. It's basically wool, they call it roving, um, but you can get so many different colors and then you can, um, I made a fox right here. Um, you can kind of, you have to use these little needles and you put it all together on top of this foam and kind of poke it all together um, to create different shapes. And it kind of all packs down and it solidifies into whatever shape you're making it into. But you can make so many things with this, it's so fun. Um, so, over here is more art supplies. And then back to my desk. Okay, so, hope you had fun. On that little tour of my art space, I that kind of just made me realize I have so many art supplies. Probably never need to go to a craft store again. We'll see, though. Um, but have fun making your own art at home. If you feel like it, try and upload your 
artwork to Artsonia so I can see what you're making. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Happy arting.